Hi there, today we're unboxing a hose pipe and this particular hose pipe was purchased from Amazon. So what I was after with this one was something compact enough that I could use at the front of the house without actually uh, taking my existing hose lock hose pipe to the front. So it's quite a bulky one, my hose lock one is. So let's go through this then first. So first of all, looks like we've got some sort of plastic thing just to be able to hook the actual hose pipe onto. Very small package here, you know, holding everything. So quite impressed exactly what we were sort of after with this. Okay, a Ziploc bag here, which is good. So packing it away as well, it's quite good for that. Okay, let's first of all, catch your spray gun. Sort of chrome fixtures on there, so that's good. Nice fitting there, so not easily broken. This is still plasticky, which is not an issue. Standard sort of settings on there, obviously full, flat, shower, cone, jet, soaker, angle, mist, center, and full again. There you go. Nice motion to this as you're turning. So good. I thought this might be a bit more heavy duty to be honest. It's got a bit of a rubber grip on there, which is nice. So rubber there, bit of rubber there. This feels plasticky, so yeah, good. Good feel to it, nice at that solid. Okay, so the hose pipe itself, pull this out. So one of the things that did attract me to this are the fixtures. Obviously very, very good quality fixtures. Yep, so let's see these brass fittings themselves. So obviously one end goes into your um, tap. So looking at it, it looks like it will be this one. If I pull it, there you go. Yeah, very nice. And this screws straight on there. And so is this. Bit of a sort of material feel to this. So in theory, it should expand, as you see. And this end obviously must go into here. So let's let me put this down and then try it with that. Okay, good, good locking mechanism. So you sort of, you pull this down and then it locks quite tightly in place, which is, which is good, very firm to be honest. So very nice. So the length of this reaches up to 50 foot. So for the usage I wanted at the front of the house, ideal, absolutely ideal for that. So in theory, it's just to water some of the flower beds. And if we're, for example, uh, washing the car, uh, quite useful for that as well. So don't need to stretch too far with it. So 50 foot is just sufficient. So with this particular bit, you know, that actually fits over the, your tap. So there you go, that goes on initially, I guess. And it just fits on and the same as before. And again, very tight fitting. Okay, let's, um, let's take the rubber band off. That's holding it together. Okay, just before we do a test um, of the hose itself, I thought I'd just quickly summarize what we've got again. So obviously we've got the, the fixtures, you know, for connecting it, all brass. Uh, we've got the spray gun. We've got um, a clip here. I think this can actually go over a tap and then you can wrap this round just to hold on to it, just for quick storage. Then obviously you've got instructions as well. I just wanted to highlight a couple of things that are shown on the instructions. So this is called Magic Hose. So the idea of this one being, it actually expands to three times its size, obviously allowing you to reach up to 50 foot. So, a couple of interesting points here. Important, this hose is intended for routine watering applications. Do not run hot water through this hose. Do not leave water turned on and the hose under pressure when not in use. Drain your hose in the summer when you are not using it and keep it shaded as much as possible. 
protect your hose from harsh, harsh winter weather by storing it indoors. Be sure to drain the hose completely before storage as water remaining in the hose can freeze damage in the hose. So obviously it's sort of material here, but inside it is rubber. So, so yeah, interesting reading these bits. I didn't really realize that you're supposed to, you, you can't really leave it under pressure for long periods. So it's interesting. So I guess it is sufficient for what I'm after. Like I said, I just wanted something that doesn't take up too much space that we can make use of. So, okay, let's take this outside and give it a run. Okay, so I've disconnected my existing hose pipe just to demonstrate this. So the green actual hook thing, you can go straight over your tap. There you go, sits so quite nicely in place. And now looking at the fixtures, showing you have two different sizes. This one doesn't fit the existing, so you unscrew it. And there you go. Just screw that straight on. With the hook itself, let's get the hose pipe. And we can just hide it on directly onto there, it seems. Okay, so you can take your hose pipe and hook it straight on to keep it tidy, like so. There you go. Take that end, push it down. Securely on there now. It's quite a good way of storing it, tidy way. So let's take the actual hose it now and give it a test. Okay, so I've stretched the hose out as far as it can go and let's give it a run, see how it performs. So, wow, already expanding. Absolutely bizarre. test it out as expected works very well and there you go that's the triple the the length straight away so let's um let's turn it off and see what happens how are you supposed to extract this again and return it back to its normal size does it live up to its name of being the magic hose So there must be pressure within the pipe itself at the moment. So if I hit that, water coming out. Wow. There you go, back to its original size, zero effort, perfect, exactly what we were looking for. Okay, there you go then, hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this particular product. If you look in the description, you'll have all the details you need, and there you go, thanks for viewing.